All right, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate. Don't forget to check us out on cyborgpirate.com. So here we are with the comparison of the so far winning Apex RK3 HDs, and we have the comparison with the Deep Six Eddies. Now, the way this comparison took place really is an unfair type of comparison, given the fact that the Deep Six Eddies were purchased for a very specific reason, and that reason was that when diving one of the back-mounted CCRs, I become very foot heavy. And so uh, easily managed and just the weight distributed and balanced in a dry suit. However, in a wetsuit, I still end up being foot heavy. And so having the heavier tech fins or the negative tech fins made things, um, just kept me out of trim and I really didn't like it. So I went through a lot of different types of fins, testing them, trying them, borrowing them, and came up with the Deep Six Eddies, which are a positively buoyant fin rather than a negatively buoyant fin. They're made out of a completely different material than all of the other tech fins. And I really only use these for diving the rebreather, back-mounted rebreathers in a wetsuit. I don't wear them in a dry suit. It really makes your foot light in that dry suit. And anyone who's... Uh, been diving a dry suit knows that foot light is not necessarily a desired characteristic for something when you're diving in the dry suit. So that being said, this was not tested head-to-head -head comparison with any of the other fins um, in a dry suit just because that's not the purpose for this fin. So it's kind of, a, again, an unfair comparison. But what this fin is used for in comparison to the RK3 in the wetsuits I'm going to read off the numbers to you off my notes here. So the RK3, which it's been a little while, so we'll review those real quick. In a wetsuit, diving HP 100 doubles, it move, I, I move with one frog kick on average, 10 foot. The Choptima, uh, with back-mounted mini doubles, I move 8 to 10 feet. With the Prism 2, it is 9 to 10 feet. And in the single tank aluminum, 80 it is 10 to 12 feet per kick and that's with these in a seven millimeter wetsuit so that's the rk3 hds now the uh deep six eddies go to those notes the deep six eddy in a wetsuit seven mil 10 feet with a frog kick in back mounted hp 100 doubles the Choptima chest mount with back-mounted mini doubles, 8 to 9 feet. The Prism 2, 9 to 10 feet. And the single tank aluminum 80, 12 feet. So these two fins per kick are very similar in the wetsuit. Now, in the wetsuit, with the doubles, I prefer the heavier fin, again, because the doubles are up on your towards your back and your shoulders and tend to make you a little head heavy. So even in the wetsuit, these are kind of light, but with the back mounted CCR, uh, and the only one we tested it with was the Prism, uh, being foot heavy, having these on with the aluminum, or excuse me, with the seven millimeter wetsuit and a thick boot were fantastic. So um, along with the single aluminum 80 and also the Choptima, um, pretty well balanced and trimmed. The The Choptima does make this fin, or this fin with the Choptima does make you a little foot light, but not uh, overly an issue. So um, this fin does exactly what, it's, what I purchased it for, and that is a good, strong tech fin to wear in warmer waters when diving the back-mounted CCRs. So um, now a comparison on the the fins themselves to give you kind of a rough idea. This is modeled a lot after the original jet fin from Scuba Pro. Very similar, very similar dynamics, very similar uh, sizing. And as you can see between the two fins, it's just a tad bit longer than the, than the RK3 HD and the blades end up being the same width foot pocket with this deep six eddy let's get that measuring tape we'll actually take the measurements for you 
So blade to the tip of the foot pocket is 12 inches. At the widest point, the blade is eight and three quarter inches. The foot pocket, nine inches. And overall fin length, 21 and 1 8. So very comparable in size to all of the other fins that are out there that we've been testing in this five uh, five fin test. And as you can see, it does take time to put these tests together, just given the fact that you really want to push these fins and test them side by side with the others and, and get a good deep feeling for. So I apologize for the length and time that's taken to get through this review with these head-to-head -head competitions, but um, it's been a lot of fun and we still have the power planers to go through and I've, I have saved those for last for a reason. The power planers are still my favorite fin um, at this point, but when we start doing the comparisons, we'll do that. The power planer will not be tested against the Deep Six Eddy only because we are going to end up with the same results. It's only going to be used during in the wetsuit, and these are only going to be used um, for that purpose. But I did want to get these fins in comparison to show a few things with them and, and get them out for you folks to see them uh, because they're a great fin and they serve the purpose of, of exactly what I purchased them for. Now, the RK3 HD is going to be in the winner's bracket can, and continue to be in the winner's bracket and it's going to go up head to head with the power planas from Mares and um, this should be a pretty good comparison because I have really fallen in love with this fin but the power planas have been my go-to fin for a number of years now. So uh, thanks for continuing to uh, support the channel and follow us and um, let us know what you think in the comments about these reviews so far and the comparisons. And stay tuned for the winner's bracket of the Mara's Power Planas versus the Apex RK3 HDs. And uh, we'll move from there. Cyborg out.